Today we're going to be looking at investigating the pH change when you add powdered calcium hydroxide to a fixed volume of hydrochloric acid. So first of all we'll weigh out, we'll measure out our hydrochloric acid. We're going to be using 50 centimetre cubed, using a measuring cylinder that measures out exactly 50 centimetre cubed as this is the most accurate. And we'll put that into a beaker. We will then need to weigh out on a watch glass, on our balance, 0.3 grams of calcium hydroxide. We'll be adding 0.3 grams each time. got set up here a spotting tile with a piece of universal indicator in each well. This will be able to tell us whether the solution is an acid, an alkali and when indeed it has neutralised. So we're going to add the first lot of calcium hydroxide, 0.3 grams, stir and put a little bit of it onto the universal indicator paper. Sure it's all gone in so that the reading is accurate. Give it a good stir to ensure it's all reacted. And then you'll take one drip of that onto the first piece of universal indicator paper. And as you can see, is red showing that there is excess of acid. So we will continue to add more calcium hydroxide in 0.3 increments to see how much is needed to neutralize the acid. We have a H plus iron from the acid in there, we have an OH minus iron from the calcium hydroxide reacting together to become neutral and again we've still got an excess of acid. We'll know if we've gone too far because the universal indicator will turn a blue colour to indicate that the alkali is in excess. We're looking for a green colour to show the neutral from the neutralisation reaction. It's important to think about safety, using hydrochloric acid, it is corrosive, 
so that it does spill onto your hands, it's important that you wash it off straight away. Or alternatively, you could use gloves. And there you can see it has taken 0.3, 0.6, 0.9, 1.2, 1.5, 1.8, 2.1, 2.4 grams to neutralise the one mole hydrochloric acid, 50 centimetre cubed.